Hello and welcome to For the Blood of Christ Ministry. Today I would like to talk with you on the subject Who am I? Who am I? I am a child of the living God. Who am I? I am the servant of the living God, Yahweh. I am a seed of the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. I am a beautiful daughter of the Most High Living God. Who am I? Part 2. I am a child of God. Today, the Lord gave me four scriptures to share with you on this topic. Who am I? Romans chapter 6 and verse 19, Luke chapter 10 and verse 19, and Matthew chapter 18 and verse 18, and Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19. You know, God has a sense of humor. Without even realizing it, the Lord gave me these four scriptures and three of them <laughs> or in verse 19. It's no happenstance. It's no coincidence. God is a God of purpose. He is deliberate. He is intentional. He is an intentional God. Today, my precious son, today, my precious daughter, I greet you in the powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I greet you as a mother. I greet you as a chaplain. I greet you as a child of the living God. I greet you as a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I come before you with these four scriptures to remind you, my precious son, Joseph, and all my precious sons missing children in these great United States, and all my missing daughters, my precious baby Faith, I come today to remind you of who you are. You are a child of the living God. Today is the first Sabbath in a new place. And today I come greeting you in the power of a miracle working God, knowing that what he has said to me and to you and to my children and all my missing children in these great United States, he will do what he said. As a child of God, we have the power and the authority to speak what thus saith the living God and it shall be according to what we speak. As a child of the living God, whatsoever the Lord said you desire, he said in these verses, he said, whatsoever you bind on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose in earth, it shall be loosed in heaven. So today, my precious children, I want to teach you how you ought to remain in the body of Jesus Christ as a child of Yahweh, as a child of the Lord Jesus Christ, knowing that you can bind the demons, you can bind the devils, you can bind all the things going on negatively in your life. The Lord God, Jesus Christ himself said, if you bind it on earth, I will bind it in heaven. If you loose it on earth, I will loose it in heaven. This brings me to the different members of the body which we shall cover real quickly so that you will know how to conduct yourself, so that you will know how to speak, so that you will know how to bring forth in the name of Jesus Christ whatsoever it is that you so desire. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord said, speak and it shall be. The Lord said, declare and it shall stand fast. And so right now, 
I declare in the name of Jesus uh, that as this thing whatsoever it shall be and may be has come to distract my vision and distract me from focusing on the word of the living God, I bind it right now in the name of Jesus Christ on earth as it has began to surface itself to seek to deter me from looking in the camera and looking at you. I bind it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I renounce and denounce it by the power and the authority given unto me through the Lord Jesus Christ himself. I thank the Lord Most High that whatsoever power we so desire, the Lord God has given it to us because he bled and died for it. He was spat on, he was beaten, he was bruised, he was ridiculed for it. So we must walk in the power that the Lord God reclaimed from the old devil and his servants from the seeds of the devil. We reclaim everything that the old wretches have stolen. I reclaim my children, Joseph and Faith, I reclaim my house, I reclaim my money, every single thing that the seeds of the devil has stolen, I reclaim it in the name of Jesus Christ, and as a child of the living God, I will speak what thus saith the Lord God, and it shall be according to what I speak. The Lord God said in Psalms 83, according to the word of his friend, I am a friend of God. God called King David his friend, a man after his own heart. And as a child of the living God, my precious children, you speak. And the Lord God said, whatsoever you speak on earth shall be done in heaven. Whatsoever you bind in heaven shall be bound on earth. Whatsoever you loose in heaven shall be loose on earth. So every wretched seed of the devil, when you speak, Speak against them, it shall be accomplished in this earth against them as it has already been accomplished in the heavenly of heavens, in Jesus' presence and in the power of the Holy Ghost and in the presence of all the archangels, all eight of them, and in the presence of the Father, Yahweh, and in the presence of our Savior and King, Lord Jesus Christ. So today, my precious children, I want to teach you how you must abide in righteousness unto holiness because you are a child of God. Let us go before his throne. In fact, before we go before the throne of God, according to what thus saith the Spirit of the living God, I will anoint my hands and then I will stretch them forth before this camera and I will declare what thus saith the Lord God for you, my precious son Joseph, for you, my precious daughter Faith, and for all my missing children in these great United States, what thus saith the Lord, it shall be done, it shall be accomplished. Whatsoever you speak unto the Lord, the Lord will perform his word. So let us go before the holy, righteous throne of the living God. Most holy Father Yahweh, as your daughter, as your woman servant, as Lord God, a minister of your word, Father God, I come before your great and mighty throne as I transcend through the atmosphere and through the, oh God, the hemisphere and through, Lord God, the mesosphere and through, Lord God, the troposphere and through the ionosphere and through, Lord God, Orion's belt and Lord God, through the, oh God, Aurora Borealis. Lord, as I transcend through the outer edge and as I come through through, Lord God, the courts of heaven, and as I come before your throne, Lord God, I cry, Holy, 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 the heavens adore thee. All the angels cry, Holy, Lord God, I come bringing, Lord, praise from my lips, from my heart. I come bringing praise, the highest praise, hallelujah. I come by the blood of Jesus, and I come by the word of Jesus, and I come, Lord God, by the Holy Holy Ghost, and I come before your throne, Lord God, 
says, my father, I see you looking over from your throne onto your precious child. Father, why do I come? I come, Lord God, because here it is hell on earth. Here, Lord God, minor children are stolen. Here, Lord God, in these great United States and around the globe, this little blue and brown planet, Father God, little minor children are being abused even right now. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come calling upon you to unleash the full forces of heaven, to unleash the full forces of the eight archangels led by Mikhail. Get your glory, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Get your glory. Hey, ya. Hey, hey, ya. Hey, va. Hey, Korodo Soto. Rekobo Shakata. Sudo Koto Mamana Shoto. Re Soto Rako Shoto. Yashua Hamashia. Hey, ya. Makoro Soto. Jesus Christ Soto Rebo So. Rekodi Sheke Mosoto. Runo Shokorato. Rekobo Shanato Lanamashata. Yashua Hamashia. Rodo Sokoto. Kado Sharero Shoto. Rusu Ture. Meshitola, Manatura, Bosha Kata, Manakatora, Shua, Bosha Karashata, Ya, Ya, Manashe, to Risa, to Eku, Rako, Mashata, Loso, to Reko, Mashulata, Hamakashata, Ya, Ya, Arosho, Loso, to Nakatira, Olubu, Shulotama, Manasatura, Besha, Nakata, Yashua, Hamashia, Robo, Koto, Reso, Tura, Eku, Roko, Mana Koro Bashi Tula Sabosha Yashua Hamashia Koro Kodi Shite Bosoto Ramakasata Ya 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 ratatata Mosheruto Holy Ghost Satura Bosha Kata Yashua Hamashia Hamatula Sata Hallelujah Reko Nashula Te Esoto Rakamo Mana Kutu Recha Ya ya Koro Shoto Hey ya Hey ya Hey ya Hey ya 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 he va he Koro Shoto Ya he va he Koma Shete Lusu Tan Makata Resho Bosha Kata Si Kola No Tole Shetu Radia Tuta Masho Koro Bo Shakata Mashaluba Akana Shatu Rako Rosso Tona Ketu E Koro Bo Sharato Mako Mana Shetolo so potanaka aya shua hallelujah bo satana ya shua hamashia rekotila basitole hikomo kurama koto rachoto ya shua hamashia rakabo shata hallelujah Tuloso ekonishe mashono soto retula bo shalata mana aya shua hamashia imela imela oh ye kaka Oh, ye kirua, emela emela ezimo, emela emela ezimo. Thank you, great and mighty God. Thank you for hearing my prayer. Thank you for answering my prayer. Lord, as you said in your word, haha, behold, I give unto you, my child, power to bind on earth, power to bind in heaven, power to loose on earth, and power to loose in heaven. Rokobo Shatayashua. Hallelujah. Korodo Soto. Get your glory in heaven. Get your glory in New York. Get your glory 
in New Hampshire. Get your glory in Kentucky. Get your glory in Venezuela. Get your glory, Lord God Almighty, in Jamaica. Get your glory, Lord, in Connecticut. Get your glory in Illinois. Get your glory in Ohio. Get your glory in West Virginia. Get your glory in Virginia. Get your glory in Washington, D.C. Get your glory, Lord God, all over these great United States and over every crevix and cranny of this globe. Everywhere there are children being harmed, everywhere there are children being abused. Rodo Soto, Ekoma Shalatula City, Yeshua Hamashia, Rekodu Shata, Yahya Kuro Soto, Yad Heva He, Yad Heva He, Kurono Soto, Rahakoto, Rekobo Shata, Yeshua Hamashia, Toro Soto, Mashataya, Yaya Kurodo Soto, Yeshua Hamashia. Mashia, precious minor children, they cannot defend themselves. They don't have anywhere to run to. Wretched, vile seeds of the devil. Kurodo Shekete, Yeshua Hamashia, Boshata Rakata, Yeshua Kurodo Soto, Heya, Heya, Raphael and Ayala, Gabriella, oh God, Javayel, Havayella, Tizuela, Ketithioela, Mikela, Yeshua Hamashia. Rodo Sokoto Mashotule, hey ya in Jesus' name, Bosha Tarakataya, Hakabosha Lanamosuto, Ya Ya Hallelujah, Rosho Bosa Nashekete, Ya Ya Koroso, Mesha Pula Tu, Rabato Rakata, Yeshua Hamashia, Turo Soto Miniko, Runko Rabakata, Yeshua Rabtoto, Loso Toma Koture, Hebo, Chokono, Masha, Ya Ya, Yad Heva He, Kuro Soto, Yad Heva He, Roko Masha. Shata, Yad Heva He, Yoroko Dula Shata, Yashoku Mana Soto, Yashua Hamashia, Yad Heva He, Hallelujah, Roko Bo Shata, Yaya, Imela, Imela, O Ye Kaka, O Ye Kirua, Imela, Imela, Ezimo, Great and Mighty God, I thank you, I thank you for your blessings, I thank you for this Sabbath day, I thank you, Lord, that whatsoever you say, it shall come to pass. I thank you that your promises are yes and amen, yes and amen, in Jesus' holy name. My precious children, oh, praise God, you cannot quench the spirit. You cannot, uh, but I'm not going to tarry too much longer. I want to stay right here in the presence of the Holy God, in the presence of the Holy Son of the living God, Jesus Christ, and in the presence of the Holy Ghost, and in the presence of all the holy angels. But I don't want to have you to have to listen too long. So the Lord has directed me to go through this page of notes that he gave me. I'll read it for you and I'll read the verses, four verses the Lord gave me today. Who am I? Who am I, the child of God? First of all, I'm going to read Romans chapter 6 and verse 19. It says, I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members, servants to uncleanness and to iniquity, even so now yield your members, servants to righteousness unto holiness. And then the Lord reminded me, he said, Grace, what is infirmity of the flesh? Infirmity of the flesh is lying, lying tongue, wretched seeds of the devil, envy, uh, pride, maliciousness, uh, evil doings, uh, wizardry, uh, bewitchery, uh, railings and anger and hate. The Lord God said, those are the infirmities of the flesh. As a servant of uncleanness, the seeds of the devil, the seeds of Satan, the seeds of the old Beelzebub are servants to iniquity. Then the Lord said to me, Grace, who are the seeds of God? They are servants unto righteousness. They are children of God. They yield their members to Jesus Christ. They yield their members unto the obedience of the Holy Ghost, 
unto righteousness, unto holiness. And that is why the angels will go before God and say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. All the saints adore thee. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Jesus Christ, because of his righteousness, he makes us worthy. He makes us holy. He makes us righteous before a holy God. And so today, my precious children, if you are not a child of God, you cannot speak what God has said in Matthew chapter 18 and verse 18, nor can you speak what God said in Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19. And I'm going to read those for you, but I want to jump over and I want to read for you what the Lord Jesus Christ said unto his disciples in Luke chapter 10 verse 19 the Lord said ha 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 this was after the disciples had gone out and in fact it was like a 70 plus 12 it was about 82 of them because Jesus had appointed 70 others in Luke chapter 10 other than the 12 disciples and he sent them to go over into the city to preach and declare that the kingdom of God is here and so when they came back, they were rejoicing because the devils, the old demons, the old seeds of the serpent, the old seeds of the devil, the old servants to iniquity of the flesh, they had to bow to the children of God. Ha <laughs> ha. So now, if in case you're wondering, am I really a child of God? Let me tell you something. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your servant? I mean, as your savior? Are you a servant of God? If you have accepted Jesus Christ, then you are a child of God and you can speak. You can speak like God has said as a child of God. You know, you can speak. Let me tell you something. I went to visit my father around the beginning of the year in Jamaica and my father runs a little grocery store and I forgot where my father was. But you know, while I was there, I was holding down the fort for my father and my father had gone somewhere and here comes a, a customer and they were like, you know, where's, where's so-and-so? Where's your father? And I'm like, oh, he's not here. I'm in charge. Let me tell you something. Jesus Christ went back to heaven, but he gave us the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost, which means that we're in charge. This earth belongs to God. Oh, hallelujah. I didn't even have this in my notes, but I thank the Lord Most High. He said to me, Grace, the earth is mine and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Even the seeds of the devil belong to God. So now I'm going to teach you, my children, how to speak against the devil. So because you know that the earth is the Lord's, the earth belongs to Jesus Christ because he defeated the devil. If Jesus Christ defeated the devil, then guess what? He has also given us power and authority to defeat the seas of the devil, the children of the devil, the servants to iniquity. God has given us authority to defeat them. I don't care how big a witch think they are big. I don't care how big a wizard think they are big. When a child of the living God comes around, they better lap their little tails between their legs and walk on and move out of the way because as a child of the living God bought by the blood of Jesus Christ, this was not the blood of human or, or animals. There's a lot of sacrifice going on in this great United States against children. A lot of people are sacrificing children. A lot of people are sacrificing others for power in this world. They forgot that the earth belongs to God. And when God says enough is enough, and today my spirit, today my breath comes back to me because you are alive because God makes you alive. If God decides that right now, I want my spirit back. I want my breath back. Guess what? It all goes back to God. So, seeds of the devil, I'm warning you, for many, many years now, you have risen up against the child of God. Are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? I guess you have because you've sold it to the devil. Well, now hear what the Lord God says to his children. Let us go, my precious children, 
to Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. Oh, praise God. The disciples were rejoicing. They told Jesus, they said, even the devils were subjected unto us. So hear what God, hear what Jesus said. Jesus said, oh, praise God. Jesus said, rejoice not that the devils were subjected unto you. He said, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven, in the book of life. So as a child of God, my precious son, Joseph, my precious daughters, Faith, Kaylee, and Addie, and all my missing children in these great United States and around the world, as a child of God, if you have accepted Jesus, if you know enough about Jesus to know that he died for you, he was beaten and bruised for you, he was spat on and ridiculed for you, it doesn't matter what the seeds of the devil have tried to do to abuse you, to tell you lies. Remember what I told you the infirmities of the flesh are. That is their eyes are covetous. Their mind is crazy. Their mind is full of evil doings, maliciousness, always wanting to harm precious minor children. Their minds are the mind of their father, the devil. Their nose always sniffing out for trouble, sniffing because they are led by unclean spirits. Their heart is desperate and wicked and unclean like a pig's pen. Their, their, their feet are quick to run to give trouble, quick to run to their, 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 their king, their king the devil and their king demons who fall under the order of the devil. Their feet are quick to shed innocent blood. Their hands are quick to do evil, to shed innocent blood. Their body is given over to fornication and adultery all adulterers, all wretches. Their soul has been sold to their father, the devil. Their spirit is nothing more than the spirit of evil. God is a spirit. Everything that is alive is because of God. If God say, if we who are children of God say, God, there has been an unclean, evil, wretched seed of the devil who has been tormenting my children and your children, most holy Yahweh. And today I ask for your spirit to return unto you because you are a God who is just, who is righteous, who is fair, who loves righteousness. Let it be according to what your woman servant has spoken in earth, in Kentucky, in New York, in New Hampshire, in Connecticut, in Illinois, in Ohio, in every single place where your children are being abused. Let your spirit return unto you, great and mighty Yahweh, yod Hey vah Hey. Let your spirit return unto you, because these seeds of the devil have come up against thine inheritance. As a child of God, you have said in your word, behold, in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, behold, I give you power to tread upon the serpent, upon the seeds of the serpent, and upon their father, the devil. And nothing, the Lord God says, I give you power to tread upon the serpent and upon the scorpion. You, you think about it. A scorpion is eaten by the serpent. Now think about it. The seeds of the devil, they think that when they carry on with all these iniquities of the flesh, evil doings, lying tongue, wretches, envy, pride, maliciousness, worldly power, wizardry, bewitchery, hatred, uh, anger, uh, racism, railings, and all manner of evil against the seed of God. These scorpions, uh, that though they may sting much, they think that they shall not have their reward. The Lord Yahweh will send the serpent, the same serpent that they are in benevolence and worship to their father, the devil, also known as Satan, the serpent. The serpent himself will gobble them up gobble them up like a turkey so god has a way of using your 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 the enemy of your enemy to defeat your enemy <laughs> let me just say that one more time god has a way of using the enemy of your enemy to defeat your enemy 
and we see it time and time again. Yeah, because these serpents, these scorpions think that they, they, their father, the serpent, the devil, really loves them. But he doesn't. He's just using them like pawns. But let me tell you something. When a child of the living God speaks, the Lord God hears. The lion of the tribe of Judah hears. And he will deliver. He will answer. He will reward your enemies according to his righteous, just nature. So, let me read for you now these final two verses. Matthew, uh, bear with me. Uh, Matthew chapter 16 verse 19 and then Matthew chapter 18 and verse 18 the Lord God says read it like I show it to you verse 19 of Matthew 16 I'm reading from the King James Version it says and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying the keys to the kingdom. The keys of the kingdom. See, when Jesus Christ died, he didn't just endure pain and suffering so that as a child of God, we can just sit around and let the scorpions, the children of the devil, the seeds of the devil run amok in our lives. The Lord said in Matthew 16, 19, the blood of Jesus Christ gives us power. He has given us this, the keys to the kingdom. What are the keys? That's the name of Jesus Christ. What are the keys? You see now, the Lord God did not say, I give you the key. Key meaning one, one key, unless it's a master key. And it could be a master key. But the Lord said, I give you the keys, uh, plural, keys with an S. Uh, ha, ha, ha. That means whatever it is that is going on in your life, my precious children, whether people are telling you lies, whether people are treating you, mistreating you, whether people are abusing you, the Lord God says, as a child of the living God, he has given you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth. So, is there some people, is there a group, is there a clan, is it the RRD of Lexington, Kentucky, is it your so-called worthless father, is it your worthless relatives, is it your worthless school counselors and teachers, is it your worthless so-called classmates, who is it that is speaking against a child of God? Who is it that is causing a child of God pain and suffering? The Lord God said, I have given you the keys to the kingdom. So if you have any problem with the seeds of the devil, with the scorpions, the Lord God said, you must bind it. Bind it in earth and it will be bound in heaven. You must bind it in heaven, in earth, and, and, and it will be bound in heaven. You must loose it on earth. What is it that you desire on earth? Do you desire peace? Do you desire a life free from abuse? A life free from lies? A lies free to love your siblings and your mother? Do you desire a life where your mind is in right accord with God? Where you're free to go to church? Where you're free to participate in church uh, uh, functions and, and in your church youth group? Where you're free to go about your life and live the life as a free child? of the living God what is it that you desire my son Joseph what is it that you desire my daughter faith you bind it in earth and you bind it in heaven you loose it in earth and you loose
sit in heaven. The Lord God shall not be mocked. I'm going to go now to the final verse, the Matthew 18 and verse 18. The Lord God reminded them and us again. He This time, God didn't just say, behold, he said verily, meaning, did I not just tell you? Did I not have already confirmed to you that if I said it, it is yes. If I've decreed it, it is amen. The Lord said, Verily I say unto you, verse 18, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Today, in closing, I want to remind you, my precious children, that as a child of God, God has given you power power in this earth because you know what just like i was able to serve that customer what they came to purchase because my father's shop is essentially my shop meaning i have authority and power to serve the customer while my father was away our father in heaven is not in this earth he lives in our heart, but he's not physically in this earth. But as his child, you have been given power. You have been given the keys of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And so, my precious children, Joseph, Faith, Dijanis, Kaylee, Michaela, Ashley, all my precious children in these great United States and around the world, that have been stolen, that have been wrongfully given into the so-called custody of abusers, of greedy, lascivious, wretched seeds of the devil. I'm telling you, as I sit here today before you, my precious children of God, you have the power because the Lord Jesus Christ died for it. He then gave it to us. He, in fact, he gave the disciples the keys of the kingdom even before he ever died. That's how powerful God is. Even before he died, he knew the end from the beginning. And he was able to say to them, I give you, verily I say unto you, behold, I give unto you the keys to the kingdom of God. So today, my precious children, as a woman of God, as a child of God, as a chaplain, as a member of the clergy, today I decree a decree over your life that every seed of the serpent that has caused you pain and suffering, today shall be the day when they shall crawl on their bellies like a serpent seed that they are. Today I decree over your life that no more will wretched seeds of the serpent dominate over your life life. No more will the seeds of the devil cause you pain and suffering. No more will the seeds of the serpent cause you to pain and groan every day and to mock the name of your creator and your father. No more shall the seeds of the devil cause the child of God to weep and moan as though they are not of God. Today is the day that you've been given the keys of the kingdom. Today is the day when you speak out of your mouth and the wretched seeds of the devil shall go down to the earth where they belong. The wretched seeds of the devil, the breath in their lungs shall return unto our Father who has all power over every living thing. As a child of the living God, you speak over your life, you loose in your life what has been bounded up by the seeds of the devil. Today I decree a word over my precious son Joseph. Today I decree decree a word over my precious daughter Faith, every single member of the RRD who has caused you to be abused, who have caused you to be stolen from me. 
Today is the day when I decree and declare that the fire from the throne room of the Most High God will fall down on these seeds of the devil and burn them up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be it cancer, be it stroke, be it brain aneurysm, be it heart attack, be it whatsoever the Lord will. Today is the day I decree that no more will my children suffer at the hand of the RRD and the wretched father. No more will my children be abused. No more will minor precious children be sacrificed in this here country. No more will minor children be stolen and exploited sexually, physically, and mentally. No more will minor children be stolen and kidnapped in this great country. No more. Today is the day that my father hears. Today is the day that my father answers. Today is the day that the Lord has decree a decree and the Lord God word shall return unto him fully accomplished for he is Yahweh he is the only true and living God all other gods must bow at the name of Jesus all other gods must bow at the blood of Jesus all other gods must bow at the spirit of Jesus all other gods must bow at the word of Jesus because we serve a mighty God and he alone is worthy he alone is holy he alone is righteous and he's given us that power and authority over the serpent and over his seeds so that we can tread upon them so that we can tread them down to the ground where they belong the Lord God is just the Lord God is a good God the Lord God has made a promise to his woman servant and it is yes and amen if the Lord God shall take out all members of the RRD if the Lord God shall take out every single one who have conspired those those of them who have told lies, those who have been bribed, those who have continued to exhibit uncleanness of the flesh towards this woman of God and towards her children. The Lord God has spoken a word and it is yes and amen. Just wait for it because the Lord God hears his woman servant and everything the Lord God has spoken and has given as promise to you, my precious children, is yes and amen. God is faithful. Serve God. If God be God, serve God. And if Baal be Baal, serve Baal in Jesus' holy name. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our lives. I thank you that your words shall not return unto you void. I thank you, Father God, because you are loving, you're good, you're kind. And I just give you all the praise. I give you all the honor. And in closing, my Father, and in closing, my precious children of God, I want to sing this little song, this little chorus, this little corito. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. All right. I want to pronounce this blessing over you, my precious children. All my missing children across these United States and around the world and my two own precious children, Joseph and Faith. As I recite this from Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 through 26, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. 
from henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Amen. I love you and God loves you more. Amen.